How we doing this hot 104 degree afternoon here in Las Vegas, Nevada? I'm at the downtown Palm Mortuary Cemetery here, and I wanted to show a video that my buddy Treasure Troller did in Michigan. I just want to preface the video really quickly. Uh, he's going to show you a couple of graves of uh, two friends that were motorcycle riding partners. Both of them were killed in accidents on their motorcycles. They both died on the same street in Muskegon, Michigan. And I believe they were killed about a month apart. And they died almost in the exact same location as the other. I stayed in Muskegon, Michigan for about two weeks last summer. And I was on my scooter at the time, so I didn't have a van. So that was my main mode of transportation. And I would hang out on the street in Muskegon called Apple Avenue. There was a McDonald's there. There was a Planet Fitness. Everything, pretty much what I need was right there. And the speed limit on the stretch of road where they both were killed was about 50 to 55 miles an hour. I would be doing 60 miles an hour on my scooter. And people would be flying past me doing 75, 80, 85 that stretch of road on Apple Avenue always gave me the heebie-jeebies. And I got tired of the cars whizzing by me. And I finally decided to hang it up and not ride down that road. Just because of the absolute uh, the dangers that were on that road of people just driving really recklessly. Recklessly, excuse me. And when I heard the story of what happened with the two guys on the motorcycles, uh, it was just a very tragic story. So anyways, I'm going to kick it over to Treasure Troller, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And just want to say really quick, uh, guys, be safe there out on the roads. Uh, I know a lot of times people that ride motorcycles, or if you don't ride a motorcycle, you tend to not see us very well because you're looking for cars in front of you instead of motorcycles. But please uh, drive uh, cautiously, carefully. And uh, without further ado, uh, here's Treasure Troll. He's going to show you uh, the, the graves. Good morning, everyone. Treasure Troller here. And we have another viewer requested vlog. And this one is a second vlog off of the Tragic Coincidence vlog. And today we're going to visit the two grave sites of the two friends. We are currently in the Ravana Cemetery in Ravana, Michigan. And we are going to visit the grave of Dean Diltz. And this is Dean's grave here. And see if we can get the picture. That came out pretty good. I've had to redo this uh, vlog a couple of times. Uh, I'm glad I had to come back and redo it this time as well because uh, he didn't have the the headstone. And uh, a lot of flowers, so... July 1st, so within a couple of days, is going to be the one year of Dean's death. He does possibly have a relative next to him of Lisa Ann Sierra Diltz. But this is Dean's. And now we will go to the other grave of his friend and writing partner, Jordan Slansky. Oh. Sorry about that. And we are now in Eggleston Township at the Eggleston Township Cemetery, which is just east of of Muskegon and actually just a couple miles away from the crash site and 
We are here at uh, Jordan Shalasky's grave site. Once again, earlier this year, uh, I think he was, it was really difficult to find. I don't think they had the cross the first time I was here. The second time they here was here, they had the, uh, the cross up and now they've actually got the headstone. So, this is Jordan's. So, there you have it. Like I said, uh, some of you may not know the backstory behind these graves. Go ahead and watch the vlog, Tragic Coincidence. Uh, that'll cover it. Sort of a way to get you to go back and watch that vlog. So with that, from Eggleston Township and Ravana Cemetery, if anybody wants to know how to find the graves uh, and visit them, just send us an email. Uh, Jordan's is very easy to find. Uh, Dean Delt's not bad, but it takes a little bit of direction. But with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.